Dear students, today we will discuss about HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. So, what is an HTML document? It is similar to the text documents. However, here we have some special tags. Those are attached to the content, textual content, so that the content could be displayed in a particular way, whatever we want to display in the internet. So, whatever website, web page you access, that is made in HTML document. And you might have seen that, for example, if you uh, access virtual university web page, there are different images, there are different dimensions where the content is displayed, different type of contents are displayed, some has different fonts, etc. So all such things are managed using tags which are given in the HTML document. So the tag describes how the content should appear on the system and this system of tag is known as HTML hypertext markup language. So, when web browsers are used to access these HTML pages, so they read those tags and behave based on those tags that how they should uh, display on the web browser or on the internet for that particular HTML page which you are viewing. So, let's have some examples. So, we will see the Virtual University website and Higher Education Commission website. For example, if I go here and write vu.edu.pk. So, this is the HTML page which has been shown to us after entering this address. And you have learned in your previous module that this when we do not give any specific uh, particular document by using slashes, so this document or this HTML page is the index or home page. So you can see that there are different uh, images on the top, then there are different things which are mentioned and organized in a nice fashion, and you can see the HTML which is being used uh, on the back side by right clicking on the page and you will see view page source if you go on to the view page source it says this is an html document and this html document has some title and it has long code and tags which are basically being used to display the page you were use, you were seeing over here similarly if we go on the website of Higher Education Commission, hec.gov.pk. So here you can again see that their template or their way of representing the content is different from virtual university. So they have images on the top, but their uh, width of the images is slightly smaller than the images which are being displayed on the virtual university and then we ha they have organized things in a different way to appeal the user and to interact with the user nicely. So you can also again see the page source by right clicking and you can see that this is a source that is being used to display the intended page. And you will also notice that some of the things are encrypted. So those are not displayed properly. So it is being encrypted in a way that it, uh, it, these things are not understood by some hacker. So they have, uh, for example, encrypted the usernames and the passwords and some sensitive information. So dear students, we were discussing different examples and we have seen the uh, page sources of those websites like view.edu.pk and Higher Education Commission. 
so those were very large web pages and those have very large html documents however to start with we should concentrate on very small document for example this is the basic structure of an html document available to you so for example you can see over here that here is a tag known as html and the html document is ended with a tag same tag by adding a slash so any document that start with this html tag is an html document then there is a tag of head and there is a tag of body so head is basically uh, a tag which is describing some metadata or some thing which we do not want to display to the user in fact these are important information for ourselves for example we have given a title like demonstration page this is not going to be displayed on the web page when it will be rendered in the web browser anything which is written within the body tag will be displayed so we will be uh, doing this thing in the next module in details that how content can be added to this structure to produce a nice web page so let's summarize today's topic we have learned about html and we have seen that there are different tags how you can see the page sources available for different web pages and we have also seen examples of different html web pages and we have seen the html basic structure which we will be filling in the next module